Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. Today I have a video for you. It's about a girl named Tylee Rodney, I believe. I'm saying her name right. From California. She came up missing August 6th. Now, I'm going to explain a few things. As y'all know, I'm doing videos in my car. Um, because I'm not... I'm staying with my daughter now and I don't want to do them in her house so I'm just doing videos in my car so if it looks odd to you my scenery that's why um, I did order a new uh, tarot card tarot cards the original ones they come in this tiny little box they are so cute they're supposed to be the original ones but as I'm going through them I am noticing some color inconsistencies from the original ones which tend to throw the reader off if you're a true tarot card reader you will know what each color represents so that's why i only use the original because i don't want to be thrown off by the colors but since i do know these cards like the back of my hand for the last 30 years i do know when the colors are off but i am going to use this one today just to see how it works out it's a small one it's miniature it's not as big as the normal one and I love the box that it comes in. Look at this tin. It is so cute. Okay, so I have shuffled I have shuffled the cards. This is what I came up with. Um I'm holding the camera with my hand. Oh, so if it shakes, you know, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I did um ask the cards. What happened to her? If anyone did anything to her, where is she? Is she alive or dead? Has she passed away? What What exactly happened to this person? I did not get the death card. Okay, I have not gotten the death card here. I shuffled a lot. So first, I'd like to say this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. Don't forget about my cup, y'all. The magic cup. This is good for health, money, and love. All you do is write down on a piece of paper what you want to happen. Um, you recite what you want to happen, always in Jesus' name, and drink from the cup. Put whatever beverage you want in your cup. The link is down in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok at Magic Tarot Cards if you want to watch funny little skits. Also, my brother's page is linked down below as well. He's an artist. I would love for you to subscribe. And if you want a personal reading, you can contact me with the email down below. And I'll get back at you as soon as possible. Y'all remember, keep in mind, I'm extremely busy. But I'll get back with you as soon as possible. There is one girl that sent me money. Please don't send money until you've actually talked with me, text me, and we've confirmed a time or date. I've been texting this girl back. She sent me $70 for a reading. I've been texting her back, texting her back, and I get no answer. And I still have her money. So if you're listening, if that's you, please text me again. Also, I do not do readings through email. She asked me all these questions through email. Expect me to type it back. I don't do, I don't work that way, y'all. It doesn't work that way. I have to actually talk to you on the phone. Pick up your energy, okay? Everything's done over the phone. I, I have to hear your voice to pick up your energy, okay? So for the first one, we have the swords, the eight of swords. Um, everything else is in the disclaimer box, y'all, because we are talking to another person, so everything here is alleged, okay? I have to say that. Now, these cards are real small. They don't look it, but they really are. Um, and I am seeing color, in, color inconsistencies because this color back here should be more dark black than blue but this is a new deck so luckily i know the colors and what they mean um this is the eight of swords i'm seeing someone that was bound by fear um really afraid the fear made them feel like this like they were blindfolded see all the this is actually a prison card as well all the cards surrounding them could represent prison you're in prison or you feel like you're in a prison yourself and your home is far away if you notice she's standing in water so this person could be near water or in water but it's in the reverse so this represents that whatever fear she had before was passing okay right away when i heard this story i watched a two minute clip about her because I wanted to see exactly who this person was. And I picked up, once I opened my third eye, y'all, I picked up 
a man approached her at the party. There was a man approached her at the party. Not a man, but, you know, another teenage boy. Um, he had dark hair. Okay, this is him here. This is a guy that's a kind of aggressive, like really aggressive. He's used to getting his way. Um, I feel like she's had run-ins with him before, or maybe they were talking or dating, or possibly he was trying to date her, or something to that effect. I do feel like she might have been afraid of him due to the fear card or what used to be afraid of him maybe she dated him broke up with him and was afraid of him or something to that effect or maybe they just knew each other but I do feel like he um liked her and she wasn't responding back like he didn't get what he wanted like the type of relationship he wanted from her so he became aggressive I feel like they were both drinking drunk maybe or, or tipsy and he was very, very, he's a very aggressive type. I see tall, slender guy. I see him with dark hair, dark, maybe chestnut hair or light sandy colored brown hair, maybe. But I do see a tall guy with hair. I mean, brown, brownish, darkish hair. Okay, I do see him approaching her. When she was leaving, I do see that. I feel like there might have been... Uh, Maybe not an argument, but words passed back and forth, and he's the one that instigated it. He's the one that said, hey, look, this, this, and this, and, um, you know, and she was like, no, um, no, I'm not happy with that, or no, I'm not, I'm just not interested, anything to that effect, okay, anything to that effect. This is a very controlling person, okay, I, this is the seven of swords, this is the sneaky card, the, in the upright, it represents a person that's stealing your energy. You see how he's tiptoeing, looking over his shoulder, seeing if anyone watched him steal these swords. This also represents um, a person that talks to a lot of people on social media. Swords are never good. They usually bring bad energy. And I do feel like he was talking to a lot of other women. Maybe that's why she didn't really like him. He might have been one of those popular, you know, jock type kind of guys that talks to everybody. And she that didn't sit well with her. And maybe she rejected him. And I feel like he told her, you know, a lot of things that were good, but they weren't, he wasn't sincere because that's what the yellow means. The yellow means that he um, is telling you all this thing that's going to bring a brand new day, but he's not being sincere. I do see these tents here. Back in the day, these tents used to represent sexual, or even now they represent sexual activity. Why? Because back in the day in the Egyptian times, if you notice, that's what this card is, the Egyptian times, the... The people on their camels used to ride in and have sex with prostitutes here. Okay, so now, what is that now? Now it's like sex on the internet, sexting, texting, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I do feel like he was into that. But it fell for her in the reverse. So this means that this, and I do feel like she either stopped talking to him, but since it fell in the reverse, he came back. He came back. This usually means an apology. Um... These two cards in the upright means evidence left behind. So this is what she saw. She saw how he truly was with evidence, meaning maybe on social media or, you know, whatever presented herself, it to herself about evidence. So she saw that and that's what made her not, not talk to him. Okay, so in the reverse, it means that he's coming back. He come back saying, I'm sorry, this brings an apology. This brings an apology. I'm sorry, you know, I didn't mean to promise you this that and not deliver or you know i'm sorry i want you back I, let's talk you know i really like you whatever but again he's not sincere these apologies are not sincere and she feels that she knew that she feels that so i feel like this conversation did not go well it did not go well okay because i see a lot of drinking um next we have the five of swords in the reverse this means the same thing you know this is a person again you see he's got two three swords that he stole his opponents he was fighting these opponents they walked away um because they couldn't handle the fight too much pressure so they threw their swords down gave up and walked away so this person is manipulative i'm hearing the word uh um very manipulative cunning cunning very cunning knows how to use their words to to and and their aggression of power they have power to make other people do things the way they want to okay and the reverse is not much different it's the same only you know what he's up to now so once she saw he was like this 
this card flip to this meaning she knows what he's like she knows what he's all about she knows how cunning he is or was or whatever which that's what made her get away from him she didn't like that energy she didn't like that energy i kind of um okay so there's two scenarios i'm i'm hearing that maybe he took her or maybe she went off with him somewhere willingly and then it went bad you know maybe he says let's go talk and then from there he took her so that would be willingly but then it turned into not willingly you, you understand what i'm saying like you can get in the car with someone and say okay well i'll talk to you for a few minutes and then they kidnap you you know something to that effect or he could have hurt her or she could have ran out. Now, I'm giving you all these scenarios, y'all, because I'm. this is what I'm getting from Spirit for right now. Because there will be another update here soon. Um, I am seeing that she could have ran away from him and he caught up to her or just left. You know, just left. I, I did not get the death card, but I do feel like something bad did happen to her. I'm seeing a lot of water here. There's a lot of water in every picture here. If you notice, there's water in every picture. There's water here. There's water here, 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 and back here and over here. Every picture has water. So I do feel like she was close to the water in water. I, I heard in the two-minute clip that I saw that her phone pinged, her, her, that last ping on her phone was near water. They did say that on those Apple phones that they do, um, they can ping in one area but it can also show that it's 60 miles away so it's not they're not all that accurate on the apple phones so it could be there or 60 miles away from the water okay so now we have the two of swords this is when someone has to make a decision because they're not sure of which road to take they're at a crossroads this is the two of swords means you're at a crossroads you see how the man or woman is blindfolded and they got their back to the water the water is murky it's not smooth which means troubled times lots of troubled times lots of you know inconsistency in your life not sure where you go you know just emotional stuff and you're at a crossroads you don't know which way to go deep deep thought lots of deep thought this person this is the person that approached her was in very deep thought about the situation or about her i felt like he was at a crossroads and he wasn't sure you know which road to take concerning her so now it's in the reverse so this means that he made a decision Okay, I don't feel like the decision he made was a great one. Uh, he probably says, okay, I'm going to uh, approach her again. I'm, this time, she's, you know, I'm going to make her listen. You know, very aggressive person, very aggressive. I'm seeing a lot of aggression. He's used to getting what he wants. He's, he's used to forcing people to do things their way because he just comes from that type of background that he's used to doing something like that. I do feel like there was no balance uh, no patience he was very impatient this is temperance the card of patience finding balance you see how the again we have water in this picture water over there so i'm seeing the i hope y'all can see this y'all i know i'm in a bad position here so we have the angel with one foot in the water one on land representing um balance trying to find balance the water flows from cup to cup balance and there's a road that the angel needs to take to get to the light that light represents balance but it's in the reverse so i feel like this person had no balance in their life mentally they weren't balanced i'm not saying they were crazy or anything like that but i mean due to with her it, i feel like this bothered him that he couldn't get her you know maybe this was the first girl that rejected him Maybe he's the type that, oh, all the girls are giggly over him, you know, stuff like that. But she wasn't, okay? She wasn't. So I'm feeling that maybe that's what bothered him. So there was no balance. I'm seeing a split here with the moon. Again, there's water, y'all. There's a split here. See how the, there's a road that splits the two animals? And the road goes in between. They're howling at the moon, but it's in the reverse. Again, the, all these, most of these cards are in the reverse, which represents not good no getting back not together all right i do see the page of swords here and again this it represents him 
you, tall lean guy with darkish hair I feel like his hair is this color here this color brown and then he's in deep thought about her this is a card of third party spying okay so I do feel like he watched her on social media all the time um uh, he, yeah, this is a young person, a young person. But I feel like he was angry. He's look at his face. He's angry, ready to strike. There's birds. If you notice, way up here, birds always bring in messages. So that represents that. Um, what's the message here? Okay, the message is that he was watching her. He would send other people to watch her, drive by her house, drive by her, if she had a job, maybe there. Um, or have other people drive by because it's third party and report back to him. But I do feel like he was constantly watching her uh, through the internet. Um, and he was angry. He, was, he wanted to strike back, not in a bad way at first, because he wanted her for himself is what I'm hearing. But she wasn't having that, you know. she. I think that she was a different type of person. Like, she wasn't with the giggly crowd that was all giggly over him no she wasn't so i feel like that made him crazy that she wasn't all you know all giggly over him all right so now we have the um emperor in the reverse so in, in the upright this is a person that has a lot of power they're stable you see how the feet are firmly planted on the ground and then it shows his power but again this person is in the reverse that has lost their power so i feel like he felt this way when it pertained to her this reading is more about him than her y'all <laughs> just it turned that way so i feel like he didn't he felt powerless uh around her he he he, didn't, he didn't get what he's used to getting okay wasn't used to getting from females you know he was, oh you're so cute and you're so tall and and we like you you know all that and she wasn't like that towards him so it made him feel powerless all right so what's the final conclusion i did not get death i did not get death but that doesn't mean that she's not um that she's not because i'm i'm feeling it y'all i'm feeling it. i just didn't get the death card but this means again no balance in the water again the maiden is trying to find balance there's a message here maiden is trying to find balance but it's in the reverse again so what does this mean when it's in the reverse it represents a good mean lack of friendship or a loss of friendship or um things didn't work out the way you wanted them to things didn't materialize the way you wanted to again this is about this person this is all about him uh, you know it's about her but it's about him the things didn't materialize the way he hoped for so it made him you know this it made him I, i'm hearing a rage i'm hearing a lot of rage uh, he approached her she had every intention of going home every intention of going home but she did not make it i am seeing at the last minute that he approached her okay he approached her and then something happened okay something happened at this point she might have left with him willingly to go talk or um you know just to sometimes when someone angry approaches you and they say okay get in the car get in the car i'm gonna hurt you so you get in the car to calm them down but then they end up getting kidnapped you know i'm not saying that she's kidnapped i'm not saying that she's dead but something most definitely did happen here due to this person y'all due to this person okay who is he we're gonna have to find out who he is you know um more about him this whole reading turned about him y'all this is the person when i after i watched that two minute clip i closed my eyes and i started concentrating i, I started seeing her in my mind okay you're in the you're at the party you're getting in your car what happened and immediately i saw him i even see his face i saw what he looked like he's tall and slender he's tall and slender like this man here in the page of cups and he has almost that color hair dark he has darkish maybe light brown hair something like that but i saw him immediately approach her at her car or at the car whatever car that they were in or she was in he approached her and then that's where things went dark and I stopped at that point because I decided I was going to do a reading on it. So I have to consult again with my spirit guides. And then I'm going to open my third eye again. And I'm going to see what I can see about her and that night. And that will be in the second reading part two. All right, y'all. For now, we're going to go. Sorry about my nails. I am working on them. I am working on them. I got this hand done. Look at that. did that all by myself. Okay. 
um, got to the thumb last night, then I got tired, so I got to do the other ones today. All right. We're going to stop here. If you want a person reading, contact me with information down below. Don't forget to buy my cup. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.